Welcome everyone. Thanks a lot for staying with us. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Shivani Gupta. On Sunday, Geeta Press of Gorakhpur was awarded the winning prize of Gandhi Peace Prize. The prize is awarded for propagating peace and non-violence. A jury headed by the Prime Minister took a unanimous decision to select Geeta Press as the recipient of the award this year for its outstanding contribution towards social, economic and political transformation through non-violent and other Gandhian methods. Soon after, though, the announcement, Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh lashed out at the government and objected this move. He has tweeted that the decision to confer the Gita Press with the Gandhi Peace Prize is a travesty and it is like awarding Godse or Savarkar. Congress ally in Bihar, RJD, also came out in Ramesh's support and stated that Gandhi's Hinduism was different from Gita Press's Hinduism. The BJP, in turn, highlighted how for the Congress leaders, Muslim League is secular, but Gita Press is problematic. Now, objection is still okay if it is on grounds whether this award should go to a press like this or not. But was it unwarranted to equate Gita Press to Gotse? We'll take that question to our guest joining us in just a bit. Let's first take a look at the objectives of the Gandhi Peace Prize. What is really the criteria when the jury sits and decides on this prize? So the Gandhi Peace Prize is an annual award instituted by the government in 1995 on the occasion of 125th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi as a tribute to the ideals espoused by him. It is awarded to a person or organization who is outstanding in promoting peace, non-violence and other ideals of Mahatma Gandhi, a person who has worked selflessly for betterment of less privileged section of the society and is also uh, given to a person who has contributed towards social justice and harmony irrespective of whether they hold a high public office or not. Now, there are written works that can be part of the criteria, but they, those works to be selected or to be eligible have to be published works. And the jury, which is headed by the Prime Minister, as I mentioned, shall be able to acquaint itself with the published content. In other words, they do look for content that they can understand and are not bound to... Uh, to put uh, their minds to all kinds of con content in all languages. Let's also take a look at the history of the Gita Press, who's been conferred this Gandhi Peace Prize now. The Gita Press was established in April 1923 in Uttar Pradesh's Gorakhpur, so it has completed a glorious 100 years. It promotes morality and spirituality through its published literature. The most important aspect is that they publish nominally prized copies of Hindu sacred texts. These sacred religious texts have also been translated in simple to follow Hindi language. In fact, the copies are so easily accessible that Gita Press is one of the biggest presses in India despite being not for profit and has an unprecedented scale of his books being take, uh, read by Indian citizens. The archives of Gita Press contain over 3,500 manuscripts and over 100 interpretations of the Bhagavad Gita. So it's a national treasure and an important repository of Indian knowledge system. Let's take a look at the objections though raised by the Grand Old Party. Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh tweeted that according to a biography, he quoted another book, Gita Press had stormy relations with Mahatma Gandhi himself. That Gita Press copies were against Mahatma Gandhi's political, religious and social agenda. He said the decision to award Gita Press is a travesty but he also went one step further to say the decision is like giving an award to Savarkar or Natugam Godse, the man who killed Mahatma Gandhi. While Jairam Ramesh may have shot off the tweet, the Congress party otherwise seems to be uncomfortable questioning this award to Gita Press. In fact, Congress sources tell us that their leaders are divided over this objection to the award. Sources say Congress president and their UP unit is not happy with Ramesh's remarks. They feel the attack was unnecessary they also feel that the tweet undermines the work that has been done by the Gita Press and offends those who've been readers of those works. And it also, they've also indicated to us that it contradicts the party's own stand on Adi Purush, for example, where they have stood up for the sentiments of the public associated with Ramayana. The big debate that's coming up, though, is this. Whether they're objecting to someone being selected for an award is one thing. But the manner in which and the equations and the parallels that have been drawn, is that an unwarranted attack on Gita Press by the Congress leader? Gita Press 
जो आज बट वृक्ष बन गया है और इसकी शाखाएं पूरे विश्व में फैली हुई हैं इसकी स्थापना भी बड़े रोचक ढंग से हुई है गीता प्रेस का इतिहास उन्तीस अप्रैल उन्नीस से शुरू हुआ दस रुपए के किराए के मकान से ये शुरू हुआ है गीता प्रेस गोरखपुर हैज बिन कंफर्ड विद गांधी पीस प्राइस आई रिपीट गांधी पीस प्राइस माय प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु द चीफ ऑफ द जीवरी सेज फॉर सोशल एंड कल्चरल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सोशल एंड कल्चरल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एफोर्डेबल लिटरेचर का निर्माण करती है घर घर में वो पहुंची हुई है और इसके ऊपर आरोप कौन लोग लगा रहे हैं जो कह रहे हैं कि मुस्लिम लीग सेक्युलर मैं तो समझता हूं इस प्रकार की बहस में उलझना भी अपनी ऊर्जा को व्यस्त करवा रहा है As the Congress ended up offending people for no reason, really, and shot itself in the foot, I'll take that question to some of our political guests joining us. But also with us is Devi Dayal, the trustee of the Geeta Press. Many congratulations to you, Tohin Sinha of the BJP, Kamru Chaudhary of the Congress, and also Udit Goenka, who is the great grandson of the founder of the Geeta Press, is joining us. Although the press is run by a trust. and not directly by the family i do thank all of you for joining us devi dayal ji main sabse pehle aapke paas aana chahti hu aap jo jo jis tarah ka attack congress party ne geeta press ko award milne pe kiya hai aur jo objection unhone kiya hai aap usko kaise respond karenge hum kisi bhi rajnitik tippadi ka koi jawab nahi dena chahte hain aap hamare se sambandhit koi prashn hobe puraskar se sambandhit koi baat aap janna chahti ho wo hum keh sakte hain हम किसी भी राजनीतिक व्यक्ति की टिप्पणी का कोई जवाब नहीं देना चाहते जी मैं मैं समझती हूँ कि आप राजनीति में नहीं घुसना चाहते लेकिन पूरा इश्यू ही यही है अवार्ड से रिलेटेड कांग्रेस लीडर जयराम रमेश कह रहे हैं कि आप डिजर्विंग नहीं है अवार्ड के बट उन्होंने तो इतना भी बोल दिया कि ये अवार्ड गीता प्रेस को देना सावरकर या गोत्सु को देने के समान है तो उस पर आप कुछ रिस्पॉन्स दे सकते हैं इस संदर्भ में हम इसलिए नहीं कुछ कहना चाहेंगे गांधी हम अपने सपोर्ट में कोई बात कह सकते हैं जैसे गांधी जी क्योंकि इसको अवार्ड का नाम गांधी जी है गांधी शांति पुरस्कार के नाम से है ये अवार्ड क्योंकि गांधी जी से हमारी संस्था का जुड़ाव अपने शुरुआती वर्षों से रहा है हमारे कल्याण पत्रिका 1926 से प्रकाशित होती है उस समय जब पहला अंक उसका निकला था तो हमारे आदि संपादक हनुमान प्रसाद जी पोदार उस अंक को लेकर गांधी जी के पास गए थे और उन्होंने इस पत्रिका के बारे में अपनी सद्भावनाएं व्यक्त की थी और सुझाव दिए थे सुझाव पहला सुझाव दिए था कि आप पत्रिका में किसी भी तरह का विज्ञापन नहीं छापें एवं कोई भी समालोचना का शीर्षक नहीं रखें उन पद चिन्हों पर गीता प्रेस आज तक चलता आ रहा है गीता प्रेस की किसी भी पुस्तक में कोई विज्ञापन एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया जाता है और कोई समालोचना किसी पुस्तक की नहीं होती है एवं आज संतानवे वर्ष कल्याण पत्रिका को लगातार छपते हुए हो गए और किसी भी प्रकार का उसमें कोई विज्ञापन नहीं है और हम इस रूप में अपने को पाते हैं कि गांधी जी से हमारा जुड़ाव हमारी संस्था के शुरुआती वर्षों से रहा है उनका उनके लेख भी हमारी पत्रिका में बराबर छपे रहे हैं और स्पेशल रूप से वो कल्याण पत्रिका के लिए लेख भेजा करते थे और इस पुरस्कार को प्राप्त होने से सभी में बहुत ही उत्साह का माहौल है संस्था के सभी लोगों ने इसको बहुत ही सकारात्मक कदम बताया है और गीता प्रेस से जुड़े हुए लाखों करोड़ों पाठक जो कि गीता प्रेस और गीता प्रेस की पुस्तकों से सद्भाव रखते हैं अपने आप को गौरवान्वित महसूस करते हैं जी एक क्या मैं आपसे पूछ सकती हूँ मैं जानती हूँ आप पॉलिटिक्स में नहीं जाना चाहते और आपने जो एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया है वो अपने आप में ठीक है लेकिन उन्होंने आपको गोदसे से कंपेयर कर दिया क्या ये कुछ ज्यादा ही नहीं हो गया इस पर कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे ये उनकी अपनी सोच हो सकती है इसमें संस्था का कोई जो है रिएक्ट नहीं है ओके ऑल राइट लेट मी ओपन दिस अप टू सम ऑफ आर अदर गेस्ट जॉइनिंग अस कमरू चौधरी आई एम कमिंग टू यू आई एम नॉट क्वाइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टोन एंड टेनर इन द मैनर इन विच जयराम रमेश हैज यू नो ऑलमोस्ट चार्ज्ड एट गीता प्रेस कंपेयरिंग देम टू गोड से वाज दिस नॉट एक्सेसिव फॉर अ पब्लिकेशन दैट हैज सच अ ग्लोरियस हिस्ट्री इन इंडिया व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ एन अटैक a 100 year old organization operating in india distributing books of 
uh, let's say a particular faith hmm. which has got a lot of sentimental values among Indians, Indian in India and abroad. There's no doubt about it. Hmm. Then the irony that cannot be missed out here is that we are giving Gita Press the award of the Gandhi ji in the name right. of Gandhi ji that was instituted Gandhi Peace Award. Right. Now we we are criticizing the irony of that. You know what, what was the relationship of Gita Press and the Gandhian values rather. Especially on the, on the question of the temple entry and the silence of their mouthpiece Kalyan on Gandhiji's assassination. For two long months, they did not even me and mention the word of uh, Gandhiji's assassination, their Kalyan paper that was uh, quite in circulation at that point in time. Mm. Now, when they maintained a study silence on Mahmad, Ma Mahatma Gandhi's assassination, the, the, uh, uh, till April 1948, rather, they did not mention Gandhiji's assassination. Okay. But then Uddar, this gentleman, was actively involved in defending the RSS that has been banned in 4th of February 1948 for his alleged role in Gandhi's assassination. But the RSS was eventually, one the, second, the RSS was eventually uh, not implicated for its role. They were absolved of any <laughs> role in Mahatma Gandhi's assassination. I am coming to that. I am hmm. telling you the role of Mr. Potar, the brainchild behind the Kalyan uh, magazine, hmm. was monthly published during those times. Hmm. When in 4th of February, 4th of February 1948, uh, RSS was banned. The ban was lifted on uh, something around July 1949. Hmm. In between this period, this gentleman, Mr. Potar, was nowhere to be found. He could not enter Uttar Pradesh also during this time because of fear of being arrested. Okay. Just after the ban on the RSS was lifted, four days after that, he was seen campaigning for the Jansang out there, along with Atal Bihari Vajpayee, uh, uh, who was heading the So are you saying, Kamru Chaudhary, I understood your point. I understood your point. I understood your point. But are you saying that anybody who is not from the Congress fold or is from organizations not associated with the Congress cannot get this Gandhi Peace Prize? It can only I, go to Congress leaders in that sense? We have given this, we have, India has awarded this to Nelson Mandela also. Yeah. What's there to do with the Congress party out here? No, but every opposition you're there, listing yeah. to uh, Mr. Podar who started uh, the publication and to the publication itself seems to be that they were on the other side of the political spectrum related to the RSS, sympathetic to the RSS and sympathetic to the Jansang and others. But does that bar them from getting this award? No, no, you are you are missing out the irony out here. The same Kalyan or the Gita press were very much highly critical of Mahatma Gandhi and his policies. So what's wrong his with policies that? Policies towards the entry of temples, towards his policy of the uh, or or towards some other other communities like the minorities, Muslims, and all these things. So they what's wrong with that? Of those Gandhian values, in fact, and now this government is giving them the award on the same Gandhian principle. Okay. Because it's no hidden fact that the Gita Press owners at that time were not in good terms with Mahatma Gandhi ji. All right, let time. me take that to Tuin Sina and then Udit Goenka can his... respond to some of the charges that have come in the way of uh, you know his family as well that started this press. Tuin Sina, the fundamental point is that this very awards objective is to further the work of those who have followed the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi. Then how does the Gita Press fit in even if it is deserving of an award otherwise? Good evening, Shivani. Good evening, everybody. Let me, you know, at the outset make this very clear that the present day Congress party has nothing to do with the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi's last words were, Hey Ram, and this Congress party, through its, through its affidavit in 2005, killed the essence of Mahatma Gandhi's thoughts, so they should not drag Mahatma Gandhi's thoughts on a on, you know, uh, in this in this particular award being given to Gita Press. Now, why Gita Press is being given this award? Because over the last hundred years, it has played an exemplary, unparalleled role in in furthering the Sanatan cause. And Sanatan cause is all about Vasudev Kutumbakam. It is about treating the world as a family. It is about peace. So I don't see any reason why it should be have been an issue of contention, it should be have been an issue of dispute, but by dragging in, not just Godse, but also Savarkar, one of the greatest freedom fighters and, you know, a devout Hindu nationalist, 
the Congress has only once again displayed its fundamental antipathy towards the Sanatan cause. Today, you know, the opposition is meeting on the 23rd. I would expect somebody like Uddhav Thakre to take a stand, which unfortunately he, he can never do. But the Congress has clearly once again only, you know, displayed its fundamental opposition to Sanatan, Sanatan thoughts and Sanatan causes. I'm also what? not quite what? understanding what? if in contemporary times, if it is such a big problem to disagree with someone's view. I mean, Ambedkar disagrees with many of Mahatma Gandhi's views and very, very caustically and even of some of the steps that the Congress at that Absolutely. time took. Absolutely, that is the under, other point, Shivani. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to understand this. Whether this is a fair the argument third, and, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, Dayal had spoken not earlier. Not Ambedkar. Yes, yes. Go no, ahead. Just 30, I'll just take 30 seconds more. I'm yeah. so glad you brought up this point. Not only Ambedkar, even uh, Subhash Chandra Bose had major differences of opinion with, uh, with Mahatma Gandhi. Even Nehru had differences of opinion later on. Mahatma Gandhi wanted the Congress to be dissolved. Nehru obviously did not want that. So should we celebrate, stop celebrating all those people who had differences of opinion with Gandhiji? So at one level, while, while uh, Jairam Ramit's tweets were certainly anti-Hindu, it was also devoid of any logic besides a complete, you know, it shows a lack of understanding of their no, own No, but don't you think because that the Congress... The era of Indira Gandhi... One second, was, Tohin Sena, don't you think the Congress does have a point that this award is particularly for those who follow the footsteps or ideals of Mahatma Gandhi? So in that sense, there should be... Uh, you know, some sort of evidence that the person no, no, so, or organization so being logic, awarded agreed with him. Can I come in now? No, there is no prerequisite. There is no prerequisite. Like no, I no, said, no, no. Gandhi Tuhin, espoused Tuhin, 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 you know, Hinduism Tuhin, through, through, through his, his, his own way. Here. And Gita Press has espoused Hinduism. Hinduism is so vast that nobody, no one entity can have its own view over it. Mahatma Gandhi always the role played secularism by... out here. It's not a question that Mahatma Gandhi's named award should be no, no, given to Mr. Press or X or Z. First of all, Shivani, I don't Sarah. think Congress has first the right all, to comment Mr. on Sina, it because the important Sina, Gandhi's have all, done away with the, the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi through the affidavit of 2005 where they questioned the existence of Bhagwan Ram. They brought great disrespect to the thought and the philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi and they should apologize to the okay. president Okay, you know, we could get into the discussion of what did Mahatma Gandhi truly stand for? Did he not stand for inclusion? And does that inclusion not mean that people who even disagreed with him, I think Gandhiji was, an, uh, was somebody who espoused this view, that even those who disagree with you, in fact, even those who want to harm Absolutely. you should be accepted and, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, embraced by you. Those are the values of Mahatma Gandhi and people did object to some of this, given what transpired in India at the time of independence and just before independence. But anyways, I'm not going into that. Let me go across to Udit Goenka. Udit Goenka, how does it make you feel, the attack that is coming in from the Congress party today? Uh, your great-grandfather started this press. Yes, Mr. David Dayal has talked about the contribution and the link that the press had with Mahatma Gandhi. But the Congress leader here objects to the fact that you know you were a, the family was opposed to Mahatma Gandhi at the time when he was still living. Uh, thank you so much, Shivani. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is the first time I'm coming on this panel. Uh, there's one thing that I would mention is one should always keep politics away from culture. Um, it's deeply saddening that uh, any kind of politics is getting involved in culture, especially for the kind of work that Gita Press has done. It's commendable, and that too for absolute zero profits, right? It's a non-profit organization. The trust was set up to help people to uh, educate our, the next generation, the following generation, and that's what Gita Press has been doing for the last 100 years now. Mm. And they'll continue to do so for the next 100, 200 years as well. So my, my question main to everyone here is, is like, why are we involving any kind of politics in culture? Culture is what makes us human. Culture is what makes us who we are today, and we are so proud about our culture. And that's exactly what uh, Gita Press is trying to do. It's trying, it's trying to pass on that culture to every generation peacefully, without any tactics, without looking to make any profit out of anything. It's 100% non-profit organization. No advertisement, nothing. So why is culture getting involved with politics? And why are some politicians trying to use Gita Press as trying to probably get some fame or trying to make an issue out of it? In fact, we should all celebrate 
who we are as as humans today, and especially the Hinduism uh, that we are following. Mm. So, but what do you I, make of I the allegation? That what do you make of the allegation Paul. that Geeta Press is not uh, the deserving candidate for an award like this, which is based on Gandhi ji? That the relationships were also stormy, and there were I differences of opinion, and therefore. What was the need to award Geeta Press this award? I do understand that they qualify on many other benchmarks, which is spreading peaceful, you know, um, mentality because Hinduism per se is peaceful. All of its uh, grunts talk about it. I understand that they do it for charity. Uh, they have been very successful in reaching out to the masses, etc. I get all of that, but their fundamental objection is that on the issue of following Gandhi's principles, the Geeta Press doesn't qualify. Uh, who sets up these principles? That's the number one question. And secondly, Gita Press had never been formed to to be uh, chasing some awards. They have never done that, right? They will continue to do so with regards to whatever knowledge that they are imp uh, uh, imparting. In fact, uh, this award actually helps Gita Press to get a bit more recognition globally, so that people outside of India as well, uh, especially who are Hindus. They would be able to understand a bit more about uh, Hinduism. They would be able to understand a bit more about Sanatan Dharm. So I feel that this award actually helps Gita Press to get the the deserve uh, recognition that they always had. Okay. So I I completely um, I'm, I don't agree with 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 any kind of politic views uh, where uh, it has been mentioned that Congress uh, uh, with regards to. Uh, that Gita Press doesn't deserve this award. I think that's completely untrue and that okay. shouldn't be done. Well, I come back to the fundamental question, Kamru Chaudhary. Two questions. One, uh, weren't the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi Hindu Sanatan ideals? And this press of any press, and one could argue of any body, has been consistently spreading those same ideals. The Congress is the first one to remind uh, the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi came from him being a devout Hindu. Well, the basic point that we are trying to put it in the public domain is not the opposition to Gita Press getting an award. Hmm. We are Our main objection is that you are giving an award in the name of Mahatma Gandhi to such an institution or an organization which did not uphold the values of Mahatma Gandhi. But how? Which did not want to propagate the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi for what he believed. Relationship between Gita Press and Mahatma was always tempestuous. After a series of what you call this disagreements on the Pune Pact, the entry of Harijans into the Mandir, the Kalyan Press denied the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi by Nathuram Godse. Rather, they never criticized Nathuram Godse for, for what he did to the Mahatma Gandhi. So, this was the relationship. Okay. In fact, okay, I get it. Today, I think you've made your point. Know, Once again, I have limited time. I have limited time. Let me ask you the political question now. Don't you think the manner in which Jairam Ramesh has raised this objection, that could end up hurting the Congress party because we are hearing even from some Congress leaders from Uttar Pradesh on record, they are saying that, you know, why are you doing these things? Because you end up antagonizing Hindus against yourself. That's the, that's the game plan of the BJP. Absolutely. Anything linked up with Hindutva, Hinduism or anything, they seem that they are the tikadars of that particular religion. Uh, we are criticizing not the Hindus or Hindu dharam or anything related to Hinduism. We are criticizing the false narrative that Narendra Modi's government is trying to propagate that we are the guardians of the Hinduism religion. Are in but India the Narendra Modi Hindu government Dwar. is honoring an organization that is so close to Hindus in this country and spreads the word of Hindu texts. If you attack That's that body, you end up offending people, no? No, ma'am, Shivani, you must understand we are a secular nation as well as a plural nation. Yes. We cannot go and award Nathuram Godse. Rather, now present day BJP leaders will hardly denounce Nathuram I'm not talking Godse. about Nathuram Rather, Godse. Rather, they will idolize him. No, no, once again, let's not be fastidious about it. I'm not talking about awarding Nathuram Godse. But uh, I have limited time. Tohin Sena, please respond to this. They are not attacking Hindus or Hindu philosophy. They have you know, objections Shivani, to the history of Gita Press. Shivani, two quick points. Yes. You know, a lot of senior, many senior Congress leaders had a difference of opinion with Gandhi ji even on the Quit India movement. So, does the Congress or does the country stop celebrating those other freedom fighters? Is the Congress logically challenged to bring up such, you know, such puerile arguments? 
And number two, you know, if Congress had actually started reading books of Gita Press, their leaders like Shivraj Patil would not make atrocious comments like, uh, you know, the conversation between Lord Krishna. He would not equate the conversation between Lord Krishna and Arjun on the eve of uh, the Mahabharat war to jihad. But that's precisely what Shivraj Patil did last October, embarrassing the entire nation. Okay. So I think the you know, there is also, there is also a, a history that has religion. been quoted by some. One, that the Congress in the past, Congress governments in the past have uh, celebrated or felicitated uh, Mr. Poda, the founder of the exactly. Gita Press. And the first chief minister of Uttar Pradesh, who was a Congress leader, Govind Vallabh Pant, wanted Bharat Ratna to be given to the founder of the Gita Press. I am not understanding how Bharat Ratna was okay uh, and asked for by a Congress leader was okay. But today, if the Narendra Modi government gives the Gandhi Peace Prize to the same Gita Press, then it becomes a problem. Because that invites the criticism that the Congress today opposes anything that this government does despite its own history. Savarkar is one of those examples. Indira Gandhi is on record to credit his contribution. Today, the Congress doesn't want to see eye to eye on that. But I've run out of time. I want to give a final word to Devi Dayalji also. Aapne, uh, interestingly, jo ek karod ki jo rashi hai, iske award ke saath, wo lene se mana kar diya. Kya aap humein bata sakte ki ye decision aapne kyu liya hai? Gita Press पिछले अपने सदाप्ती वर्ष पूरा हो चुका है गीता प्रेस का और गीता प्रेस के संस्थापकों का ये निर्णय था ये निश्चित मत था कि अपने को शांति से अपने कार्य में लगे रहना है और भगवान उस कार्य को देख रहा है तो इसलिए उनके ऊपर जाकर कोई पुरस्कार ग्रहण करना और हमारे संस्था आदि संपादक हनुमान प्रसाद जी पोदार उनको भारत रत्न के लिए गुलजारी लाल जी नंदा लेकर के आए थे लेकिन उन्होंने बहुत ही दैनी अपने आप को जो है उसके लिए अनुपयुक्त बताते हुए बहुत सम्मान पूर्वक उस पुरस्कार को वापस किया था उसी परिपाटी पर गीता प्रसाद चल रहा है लेकिन क्योंकि ये सारी हिंदू भावनाओं का सवाल है इस इस पुरस्कार को हम स्वीकार करते हैं लेकिन आर्थिक रूप में इसकी इसको स्वीकार नहीं करते हैं एक सम्मान के रूप में स्वीकार करते हैं जी जी all right. On that note, I want to thank our guests for joining us. Let the viewers decide if this attack was unwarranted and excessive or not. Moving on to the other big...